What do you mean a Cooper's Guild isn't important? Tell me, lad, without our casks, where would you store the black powder? And the beer in? More breweries and Jim Cotter income. Cool. Send me to vengeance! So you have done your job pretty well. You are recovering. You lost some troops there, though. Ah, and we can recruit some artillery in this province. I honestly think yes. we should. You can just stay there and recover some of your losses. Fanro, you are still on your way down here. You're not too far off. Next turn or the turn after you'll arrive. Wade, you class. should be in a position to start recruiting. Yeah, not really. Miners of blasting charges is good. I guess Karaz or Karak starts up there. I'm off! I think that's everyone. So Quarty is the one with all my special Lord. I really need to send you... Well, once we've defeated the orcs down here, we should be pretty safe. Unless there's those random incursions, which there might be. Of course, is pretty good, I know. <laughs> I got my uh, grudge thrower level 2. Sorry. The grudge thrower I started with to silver level 2 just from kills. Unfortunately, he died when Thorgrim lost a battle. But it, it was like consistently the most kills in the army. Right, you want me to join a war against the, crack, the Crooked Moon, who are goblins up there. Uh, they're probably too far away for me to do any good, but I will accept because it increases my relations with them. And also, I don't want to break the alliance because I want to confederate you eventually. Here comes their army, but our allies got two people there. Oh, you're coming to me, son of a. I'm trying to destroy it, Dwarves excel at shield walls. Over the years, the guilds and the clans request have experimented with interlocking shield designs. I just got an achievement. Construct the bright moon. Bright stone thingy. Cool. Yes! So, QWERTY, you are currently taking attrition, which I don't I'll approve do of. It. We're just going to go and teleport out. over here the next turn. We can have you attacking. Fenris, you are holding position because we are at war with the undead. For the wisdom of Valea. You are recuperating troops, though. Actually, what I'm going to send... Very what I'm going to do well. is I'm going to send you back towards Zulfgar and fortify that directly. Vokar Dromar needs to be repaired. Yeah, go ahead and spend that money. Oh, oh bearers! Let's march! I would like you to produce some more troops for me. But we could probably better do that in Karazakarak, where I think I've got the most military buildings. Yes, definitely. Although we can actually build another one, we probably ought to. Engineer's Guild, possibly. The High King acts. By the way, you need to make your way back there. Unfortunately, this is a long ass away round this track. I wish there was a faster way through this bit. Because you can't go like up here then teleport across or anything. You still have to go all the way around even if you are doing the all right. underground movement. Wind. Fanro, you should be getting pretty close. Shoulder axes lads, we move. I like that this army's getting so close to me, though. Although, Bitterstone isn't mine. It is... Karakazul. So they might re... They might sack it, and then I can just... Jump in and rebuild it. Or they might raise it, rather. It's possible. You never know. And we need... <coughs> hey, Lucky Owns. So we can call upon... Oaths of Old, which is cheaper recruitment for longbeards. Vanguard proficiency has melee defense for rangers and speed for rangers. Experience for miners and dwarf warriors. Leadership and melee defense for the lords and heroes. 
or recruitment cost reduction for Quarrelers, Rangers, and Thunderers. And this is more damage for my range units, which I really ought to be investing in. I mean, we've already invested massively in our economy. I think I'm going to go with the Vanguard Proficiency, because I kind of want the speed and the melee defense for the Rangers. Having seen how many, how, how much damage they took, I think that would be very useful. The grudges. Defeat undead armies, that's not going to happen anytime soon, because we're not really fighting them. And reach level 10 with one Master Engineer. That's going to take for frickin' ever. But we've done a pretty good job of keeping the grudges down. That's my current objective. Yeah, I'm super close to completing this in the short campaign. That's all I wanted to see. I want to see the chapter object objectives, so we need to occupy, loot, raise, or sack 14 settlements. We've already done the maintaining 60 units. We need to build a great hold in Karaza Crack. We need to reach level 20 with one lord. I think we're at 14 or 15 already. Level 20 with the heroes, we're a long way from doing that, and then research 50 technologies. Now, because we've played such an aggressive game, and have so many territories, we're way ahead of where we should be in terms of chapter time. <clears throat> Tuntraz, WWZ John, Panida, Phone, Grant Great, Epic Highlander, FFZ, thank you all for the follows, I appreciate that. A grudge too far. The enemy has wronged us, but writing this grudge will cost us deeply. Perhaps too deeply. Maybe just this once, we should ignore the slight and focus on the grander objective. So we can... a wrong put right, which means we get more leadership, but we reduced uh, recruitment costs. Oh, it's always the same, but it's going to have some other kind of outcome. Um, for the dwarves, honor is all, especially for Thorgrim, grudge bearer. Hints in the name. And yeah, the outcomes are both the same, but I wonder if there's another outcome later on. Ananas, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. Calling yourself Pineapple. Interesting. Okay, you just sacked Bitterstone, but you didn't actually take it. Caravan Raid. A dwarf trade caravan is ringed by dwarf... Uh, by, by dwarf? By goblin wolf riders. A stalemate has developed, but the foe review refuses to relent. Such a local affray should be dealt with by the local lord, but your intervention could speed things up. Smash the enemy. Which means more leadership, but we lose public order. Or we gain public order, but lose leadership. You know what? You're on your own. I need the public order. Because I want to get back to confederating people. How are we doing? Okay, two of you are now looking happy. Everyone is gaining public order now, which is excellent. Are you gaining enough that I can start taxing you again, though? Yes. And Zufbar? Yes. Eastern Badlands? No. Southern Badlands? No. Western Badlands? Yes. Well, alright then. Let's suddenly increase our income from what was it, 800 to 6,000. <laughs> Having some of these big guys not paying taxes really mattered. Alright, QWERTY. What? I would say that we can now go to the and attack. Agrul Mitchell. Vengeance! Vengeance! And honestly, I'm just going to auto resolve this because this would be a. Decisive <laughs> victory. Loot gained. Oh, and other things. We are going to. Occupy. Yeah! Yeah! Rune of Courage! Those that, that have the Rune of Courage will never fear the horrors they face. Stonemason, income from iron mines, gold mines, and stone quarries, 8% in the local region. 
And you're also a siege expert, which increases your aura size and your leadership in laying siege. And you're an aggressor, which is public order for every concurrent war with a neighbouring faction. Impressive. We have a lot of building that we do here. Uh, you can probably also attack this turn. And similarly, I'm just going to auto resolve. The monies. The rune of courage. Level 10. And we're going to go ahead and occupy. So this place is going to have no public order for a while. But we have secured the Southern Badlands. Here's the Rune of Courage. Cool. And suddenly our lands have rather dramatically expanded. And then this is just the Orkish Wasteland, which we cannot get to. And it looks like Kadri uh, Azul has taken the other province. So these two armies are probably all that they Savage Orcs have left. So what I might do is leave an army down here. So... Not, no, not Quirty. I will probably leave Fanro down here to deal with the Orc attacks. And you're a very strong army, so you should be more than capable of dealing anything that comes at you. Um, you're a poor, pure beard, but I don't think you necessarily need that. Woundmaker. Weapon strength increased. Blade Master is melee attack, melee defense, or speed. Oh, you're just a regular lord. I mean, you're clearly a fighting lord, which is fine. I'm going to go Woundmaker, I think. Or Scarred Veteran. More hit points. Right, this entire track is really useful. Obdurate is more leadership, and that's missile resistance. Uh, nah. Deadly Onslaught requires four points in the previous group. And, in fact, we want to go towards that. So I think we're going to go with Blade Shield. We're going to make you a bit of a tank. And then we'll increase your hit points after that. Lawo! Donna! Uh, hello, hello, hello. Johnny Skill. Naughty Pope. Thank you very much for the follows. Appreciate that. Okay. More leveling up to do. Party Death is now a level 9. turn you get the Anvil of Doom. Totally want that. Anyway, we now get access to Rune. So we have the Rune of Striking, Rune of Might, Rune of Parrying, or the Rune of Fire. But these are not... where are they? Because it's not giving me ability details. I think these are just upgrades. These upgrades to you or to your army? I would assume to you. But you only get one level. Then the Master Rune of Negation is, wow, 44% damage resistance. That's ridiculous. Honestly, for you, you need to take your defense. Or is that a rune you can give to someone else? That might well be. Anyway, that's you done. Fenris. Honestly, you can just stay there. It is time! Owen Weldonson, you are making your way back. Forward. Bar, so we can have that fortified. It is time! You are going the really long way around Touch. again. So you might actually be in... Yeah, you are in Karazakarak's territory again. So I can recruit the better troops with you. Can I help you? And wait, Benedict, you are... Very much on the outskirts. Ah, I suppose so. Let's, let's stick you in Kurz. On my way. Then we can have you Boom, Ricky. recruiting troops. But because we have the recruitment penalty right now, I don't really want to recruit. Last for two more turns. I'm going to build stuff instead. And in fact, there are a couple of you that could use a commandment. So you have the venerate the ancestors. That's fine. That's steel and stone, right? Yes, it is. Southern Badlands needs uh, one. I think I'm just going to make you a Master of Steel and Stone as well, so we can get those cheaper buildings going. Your Steel and Stone, your Steel and Stone, your Steel and Stone. Excellent. Southern Badlands. 
Massive public order penalty, but that's because you... We just had two conquests, and that will last just for this turn. I would like one of these territories, Gorgazan, to have... Oh, we can't get Refectory yet. Fuller alert, it's a bit too loud. Um, okay, I will see what I can do about that. How can I turn you down? I think it's possible. Uh, I have no idea how to do it offhand. Because I think it, it, it comes through Steam Labs, which is the service which does the uh, pop-ups. There's no individual setting for OBS. I think this might be something that I need to work out how to do off camera later. Because it could be that I'm looking entirely the wrong place. I wonder if I go to follow sub. Are there properties individually for you? No. There is definitely a way of choosing what sound you play, though. Where's the alerts details? Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to work this out off camera, I'm afraid, because I have no idea how to do it right now. Sorry, guys. Um, when I take my break at 6, I'll look into it then. <clears throat> okay, Southern Badlands. I wonder if I set myself a reminder I should, because otherwise I will totally forget. Finders, add, sound. Remind me at 7, because I'm likely to run off and actually get something to eat at 6. Okay, cool. Um, so, Southern Badlands. We need to upgrade the Southern Bad Badlands. I would very much like to upgrade Gronty Mingle because it has the Dwarf Wharf. And it also produces brine. And it has a powder hole. So that's basically all of your upgrades right there. It's the powder hole, the brine, the wharf. Gorgazan. If we get you to level 2, then we can get the refractory. Or if we upgrade you, then you... No, you don't increase in... No, there's no public order increase for the building level. Yeah, Gazan, I think I'm going to upgrade you to a dwarf outpost. Gulbaraz, I think I want you to have a trinket maker, so we're making more money. Although, actually, Southern Badlands, <coughs> we probably want a way of getting recruits. The other thing we might want to do is Gazan and Midhull, we might well want to add defenses, because that's where the orcish incursions are going to come. So I think we want the sparring chamber somewhere else. And we can get siege workshop, armory, possibly walls here. And then mid hole. 
You can get the sparring chamber. Refractory. Refractory. Walls. Trinkets. Or growth. I think I'm going to go barley field actually so we can get the casualty replenishment. Because Southern Badlands, we're going to need to build up. Alright. Uh, that is all of my generals moved. That is all of my money spent. Southern Badlands are currently losing. Right, that's because we just conquered stuff. Alright, turn turn. Ostermark wants an alliance. You're gonna pull me into wars against Kislev and Chaos and everything like that. Nope. <clears throat> Any idea what Chaos is doing to the Empire? Probably not very good things. At a guess. Foolish vainglory. You say they... They say you revel in victory. They say you spend more time erecting monuments to battles past than managing the realm. They say you are a fool. Wow, 25% recruitment cost reduction? Or leadership? No, we're... More humble approach. Then we're going to wait a turn to get rid of that. And then we'll have two turns of really cheap recruitment. So I'm going to save up a bunch of money for that recruitment. Done ready. You are heading back north. Suppose so. I do. Fenris, yes, you are staying war. put. Owen, you are heading to Zephyr. Beards in belts. Beards in belts. <laughs> Good. Thorgrim. You can get a little bit closer to. As a crack. Thrombearers, move! Banro. Thirsts for war. You're staying put, but I kind of want to put you in a more central location like Galbaraz. Ah, you need to go off to the top knots. So we'll send you north to go and deal with them, because I think once we've taken out the top knots, they will be suffering attrition because they have no homes. Oh, and they have low fightiness. They count as hordes. Okay. Never mind then, there's no penalty for them. Unless you're done. Begin. And we can build some stuff. Southern Badlands. Can actually get another upgrade going. So if we got Golbaraz upgraded, then we could start building Siege Workshop, so we have access to Bolt Throws and Grudge Throws, which would be, which would be good, because we have two Lords down here who may not already be able to get that. Or we can upgrade these guys to get the, the secondary buildings. I think I'm going to upgrade Mid Mindhall, because you are on the southern front, and then I can put a uh, watch room there, so you are defended at least. That idea. Western Badlands, you are recovering. You seem to be doing okay. Um, there's a lot of open buildings here. I've been without money for quite a long time. Just thinking it might be worth sending an expeditionary force so Chaos doesn't get too strong. True. Once I've got Thorgrim kitted out again, we'll send Thorgrim and possibly Quirty Death as well. So I'll have two armies, maybe even three armies, if I build up Wade Benedict, which are free roamers. Because I want to keep one on the southern front with the orcs, I want to keep one on the front with the vampires, and the other armies can be freed up. But I need to rebuild for a while. So we're going to go uh, insular for some time. You can upgrade your barracks so that we can get quarrelers in Blood Valley. Um... Not a huge priority. 
You can upgrade your timber, which isn't a huge priority either. And you've already built an arsenal. You know what? No, I'm saving money. Because I get the massive 25% reduction to construction costs next turn. Uh, recruitment costs. You're attacking Karakizor, but Karakizor has loads of troops there. 